Step number two to get louder is you want to go deep. You want to go low in bass frequency. The lower the bass, and we're not talking about SPL. We're talking about loudness perceived. Loudness is perceived is wavelengths. I'm throwing up a chart so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Step number two, go deep wavelength. So the lower the frequency range in hertz, the deeper and farther your wavelength. So I'm going to give you an example. You ever heard that car or truck coming down the street? He's about a block away and you hear him loud. He sounds loud. But the closer he gets, he doesn't sound as loud. That's wavelength. So I got a chart. I'm going to throw up the chart for you guys. That's step number two is, let's say, 50 hertz. We're going to start at 50 hertz. The wavelength is 22 feet, okay? So you stand 22 feet away from the car. It should sound louder than standing next to the car. At 40 hertz, we're at 28 feet. The lower you go in frequency, hertz, the farther they're going to hear you coming. Basic. There's a lot of little bit of math in this stuff. It's a little bit of math in this stuff. You go down to 30 hertz, you're going to get 37 to 40 feet wavelength. Go down to 20 hertz, you're talking about 56 feet, 55 feet. And wavelength so they're gonna hear me on the other side of the block now before we get to the third step I'm explain this frequency response frequency response frequency response and cone area is king it's the thing you want to do if your subwoofers do not go down to 30 Hertz check your specs your wavelength is not gonna be 40 feet or 37 feet. So everybody wants to be a name brander. Brander, I'm not a name brander. I'm all about frequency response because I want you to hear me before I get there. That's what it's about, people. So I've done some research. Uh, most subwoofers don't go down to 20 hertz. Well, they'll go that low, but they'll go at a low volume. So frequency response, explain, let's explain that real quick, is the tip of the iceberg of the wavelength. So if I have a subwoofer that its frequency response is 30 hertz, it's still going to be loud at 30 hertz. If I push 20 hertz to it, it's going to be a little lower in volume. So if I get a, another sub, where its frequency response is, let's say, 20 hertz or 25 hertz. When I hit 25 hertz, its frequency response is going to be loud. But after that 25, it's going to start dipping down in volume. So um, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Scars go down to 20, 20, 22 hertz. Um, the other... Subwoofers that I showed you that were 50 bucks go down to 30, which is the Black Punks. Um, they'll also hit 25, but it'll be at a little bit of a lower dB. Um, so find a frequency, resonant frequency of your car. What you want to do to do that is step number three, get a bass toner app on your phone. Okay. I got one, I think it's called Bass Sub. I'm going to throw it up in the video. Uh, check it out. What you want to do is Bluetooth to this car, stand away from the car, use the chart, and you hit the different tones from 50 down to maybe 20 hertz. And how you know the frequency of your car, when you hit that right tone, it's going to sound louder than any tone. No matter if it's 50 hertz versus 30 hertz or somewhere in between, you're going to know because you're going to feel the vibration where you're standing and it's going to sound loud. OK, that's 
Step number three, find a resonant frequency of your car. You want to match your amplifier with your subs. If your subs go down to 30 hertz, but your amp only does 50, and your frequency response of your car is 30 hertz, you're not going to get that response to your car, to your speakers. So match your stuff. Get it right from the beginning so you don't spend a whole lot of money later. And that's how you get loud, people. Get you a ported box. Find the frequency response of your car. Go low. If you really want to go low, you want to get hyper bass. Because there's nobody out there doing 20 hertz. Or 22 R25. Hyper bass is going down to 20 hertz. Now, my amplifier in my car is a Boss Elite Series 2500. Its frequency response on the amplifier, well, the frequency on my low pass is 50 hertz. Its frequency response for my amplifier is 10 hertz. But hyper bass will bypass my low pass filter on the amplifier and go down to 25. My frequency response, resonant frequency, let's get it correct, it's called resonant frequency response, is 25 hertz. When I hit 25 hertz, let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm shaking up some shit. Shit gets to shaking. Not just my car, other shit around me gets to shaking. And that's what you want to do. It's a scientifically fact, proven. It's all about vibration. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go out there, get you some right subs. Check out one of the hyper bass videos if you want to go low, low. And I'm out.